Years after the chaos and destruction of the Second World War, the roar of the angry tribe can once again be heard in the streets. Even in Poland. In a world convulsed by existential crises, nationalism is perhaps our own response to the fear that our identities and traditions are once again under threat in an increasingly bewildering world. As politics everywhere has become dominated by nostalgia, the longing to look back to some once upon a time rosy past, culture has once again become a battleground for competing visions of what national belonging might mean. When the Romantics brought all the trappings of national devotion into the world, flags and anthems, songs and stories, they were creating a community of belonging every bit as powerful as family or church. But what they created is so viscerally powerful that it can also bring with it a dangerous state of mind. If the Romantics' most enduring legacy is the belief in the power of art to connect us to deeper truths about who we are, then its goal, ultimately, was not to divide us, but to remind us that in spite of all our differences, every human heart is the same. One of the messages that the Romantics left us with, it's, it's possible to belong to the family of your own country, its traditions, its stories, its ballads, its music, its poetry, and yet belong at the same time to humanity.